Hi and welcome to Symboltech Working Bench. If you are looking for a multimeter, you are watching the right video because today I'm gonna do a review on this smart digital multimeter from Kaiwitz, which is the model KM601. So without further ado guys, let's get started. Let me first explain a bit about Kaiwitz. So Kaiwitz was founded in 2018 and they are manufacturing tools for electricians, builders and electronics hobbies. As you can see on their website, they are manufacturing multimeters, clamp meters, voltage testers on bench power supplies as well. For the builders, you can find the 3D laser levelers and also with the tripod to support them. If you want to know more about Kaiwitz, you're gonna find the link on the description below. And now let's go back to our multimeter. The multimeter comes in a nice red box. Inside the box you'll find a nice pouch with Kaiwitz logo on it and definitely includes the user manual as well. The manual gives you all the information you need in how to use the multimeter and which measurements you can do and i will cover the major parts of these specs in this video inside the pouch you have two packs of batteries the thermocouple to measure the temperature the probe leads and the multimeter itself the multimeter have a really nice design with these rubber buttons and the big display let's check first the quality build of this multimeter Removing the back cover looks like the multimeter is made by plastic. The plastic case looks rigid enough and do not bend at all. And definitely the rubber back cover offer you more rigidity and better grip. How you can see without the back cover, the multimeter slide very easy on the bench. But with the back cover on, you can see the difference. Talking about the back cover, I would like to say to the Kaiwitz engineer's designer to redesign the back cover and add some kind of flip supports in order to have the multimeter at 45 degree on the bench because I really like the HT11A model for this option. Installing the batteries, it's easy, just removing the screw from the back plate and removing also the plate, you'll find the place to insert three AAA batteries and just inserting the three batteries there, you'll have the beep. After installing the batteries, just screw into its place the back plate. And there we go, we have our multimeter alive. This multimeter is called smart because have this automatic function to detect between AC or DC voltage, resistance and continuity. For all other functions, you need to switch manually. To test the multimeter, I will use four different resistors. Four different capacitors. To test the voltage I will use this 24 volt power supply. I will use the same probes for all the multimeters to don't have different resistance on the leads. The test will be a comparison between Kaiwitz model HT118A Mestec model DM91A, Rich Meters model 100 and this new model from Kaiwitz model KM601. Starting with one ohm resistor, the model KM601 read 0.6 ohm, which is not that great. The model HT118A read 0.9 ohms and I can see better accuracy. The Mestec read as well 0.9 ohms and the rich meters read between 0.9 and 1 ohm. Testing 100 ohms, the model KM601 read 98.6 ohms. The model HT118A read 98.2 ohms. Mestec read 98.6 ohms as well. And the rich meters read again between 98 
98.4 and 98.5 ohms. Testing 100K resistor, the model KM601 read 100.6K, the model HT118A read 100.5K, Mestec read 100.9K, which I think is too high, the rich meters read as well 100.9K, testing 860K resistor, the model KM601 read 861.1K, model HT118A read 862K, Mestec read again high 864k the rich meters read between 864 and 865k testing one microfarad capacitor the model km601 read about 993 nanofarad the model ht118a read about 998 nanofarad mestec read about 995 nanofarad and the rich meters read about one microfarad testing 10 microfarad capacitor the model km601 read about 9.470 microfarad the model HT118A read about 9.600 microfarads. Mestec read about 9.600 microfarads as well. And the rich meters read about 9.770 microfarads. Testing 100 microfarad, the model KM601 read about 96.20 microfarads. Model HT118A read about 96.65 microfarad. Mestec read about 96.25 microfarad. And the rich meters read about 98.6 60 microfarad. Testing with 6800 microfarad capacitor, the model KM601 read about 6585 microfarad. Model HT118A read about 6723 microfarad. The Mestec read about 6715 microfarad. And the rich meters can't read anymore. Testing the DC 24 volt power supply, the model KM601 read about 24.24 volt. Model HT118A read 24.25 volts, the Mestec read 24.29 volts, and the rich meters read 24.26 volts. Testing the mains wall socket AC voltage, the model KM601 read 249.4 volts, the model HT118A read 250.2 volts, and I like this feature alerting you with the red light that you are measuring high voltage. The Mestec read about 251 volts, and the rich meters read just 238 8.8 volts. With the model KM601 you can measure temperature, can measure also diodes, measuring also frequency, which other multimeters don't have this option, non-contact voltage or NCV, this multimeter can do, and definitely you can measure the current as well with milliamperes and amperes option. Let me start with what I like on this multimeter. I like the big color display, I like the pushy button instead of a rotary switch like in the classic multimeters, I like the automatic action between resistant voltage and continuity, I like the slim design because it's easy to put it in your pocket if you might need with you away a multimeter. What I don't like on this multimeter is because cannot stand on 45 degrees on the working bench. Let me know in the comment below your pros and cons about this multimeter guys. If I need to recommend this multimeter, yes I do. I recommend for the beginners on this hobby because for the price that you pay on, giving you a lots of features and the accuracy is not that bad anyway. If you enjoyed this video guys, don't forget to put your like down there, please subscribe, activate the notification bell like that you'll not miss my next video when I'm gonna start using this multimeter and until the next video guys, bye bye!